What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Really Rich Gaming coming to y'all with another how-to video. One of my subs that asked me how I changed the ballers in the family's clothes, the Crips and Bloods. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do that, gang. And if you're new to the channel, I ask you to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Also hit that post notification bell so you never miss out when your boy drop that heat. Also, gang, continue to check out all the videos your boy been dropping all these new series I've been coming up with. I told y'all 2024 our year. But yeah, let's get into it, gang. So you're going to need a few things today. You're going to need a zip opener like WinRAR or 7-Zip. You're going to need Open 4. And you're going to need these mods. And I'll make sure I put a link to everything in the description so you guys can get it for yourself. Anyways, today we're going to be using three mods, gang. And these are the mods that I use for my game. One of them is Families to Hoover's Pack. The other one is Families, Crips, Boilers, Bloods. And the other one is going to be the Englewood Families Gangsta Bloods pack that I use. So, what we going to do, we going to go to Download. We going to download that. Y'all see I already got it downloaded. We going to go over here. We going to download this one. And we're going to go to this creator's Patreon page. This creator is called Best Side. Make sure y'all check him out, man. He do some good work on all types of pets and stuff. But you're going to have to go down for a while to see the Englewood Family Gangsta Bloods mod. So let's go down. See more posts. You're going to keep having to go down. It's a long ways at the bottom, gang. This is kind of an old mod. Let's see. One more time. I think one more time. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, it's two versions. You're going to want the 1.1 version. So when you go to it, gang, it'll look like this. And you just want to click up here so you can download all of them. I already got it downloaded and open. So I ain't going to download it, load it, but that's what you would do. So now that we got all our mods downloaded, gang, what we want to do is we want to go to Open 4, Windows, and we're going to open up our game. And what you want to do, you're going to go to your mods file. All the game pads are in X, actually. No, so X64V is going to be for one of them. And I think the other one is in Update 3. So let's check it out. So you go to X64V, Models, CD Images. Now for the Gang Pads, you want to make sure that you go to Component Pads GNY.RPF. Because that's the one that the gang, that the pads are in. So I'll show you, for example. Let's see. Okay, see, this is one of the ones I was talking about where you got to go to the update folder. Let's see, let's see. This one should be right. I'm up, so are they all in the update folder? One second, gang. Nope, okay, see, this one's okay. Yep, this one is in the right spot. This is for the Bloods mod. All right, so let's click out of this. So when you download the Englewood Family Gangsta Bloods pack game, you're going to see that it's made for the families to become Bloods. Now, I wanted to make the Boilers Bloods. So all I did, you like go to one of these folders. See, I says GMY underscore fam CA01. So what you would do if you want to replace Boiler East, which is what I did with that one, you would go right here. And make sure you got edit mode on too, gang. Make sure you got edit mode on too. Go right here. Go to rename. You want to copy that name. Then you want to come back up here. You're going to click right here. Rename. 
paste. And now when you drag it over here, it'll drag in that spot and replace that instead of replacing the family member. Same goes with all these files, the YFT, the YMT, and the YTD. Now the bandana is going to go in a different spot. We'll get into that. But you want to do the same thing with these. So instead of having them replace fam, Davis neighborhood family, you'll go down second baller, baller original. I think it's the, yep. You go to baller original. Copy this, not rename this, copy that. Go up here. Rename that. And drag that over there. That's all you're really doing, gang. You're renaming the file so it replaces the baller pads instead of the family pads. Same with form. See, then the form one is kind of different. So on this one, I really don't use the form one because they only give you the YTD file. They don't give you the other files like they do with this one, the YFT and the YDDs. So I don't use that for that one. So for that one... We would use, let's see, here's the Mex Gang in here. Okay, so this is okay. This is something totally different right here. Here we go. Oh, so this, okay, okay. So we done with this folder now, gang, and that's how you would install the bloods, the pads. Now for the hats and stuff. You want to go to, is it X64H? Let's see. Props. Nope. Not H. Is it C? I think it's C. Let's see. Nope, not C either. We're going to figure it out together, gang. Like I said, I ain't done this in a while, so. Is it W? It might be W. Not W either. G. Did I just go to G? Nope, pair props. There you go. So X64G levels GTA 5 generic and pair props. Nope, not that one either. Okay. Hold on one second. I could have swore. Like I said, gang, it's been a while, so forgive me. It's e. There we go, gang. So you want to go to X64E models and CD images. Then you go to pair props. And now it's going to have all the props that all the pairs come with. And when you do that gang, same thing. So find the gang names. So for the gang names, you go all the way down to GMY. If you was editing the females, it would be GFY. And so these are the females. For well, these are their props. If you edit in the females, you want to go to GFY. If you edit in the males, you want to make sure you go to GMY. See, like right now, that's what they got. So with that folder earlier, we had for the hat you just go right there you will rename that prop to g and y baller east and it will put it there so now that we done with that i'm going to close our archives now we'll go back in our mods menu again you want to go to update x64 and your DLC packs, and you want to go down to, I'm pretty sure it's, I got so many mods game, but I'm pretty sure you want to go down to Patch Day 3 and G. X64. So you want to go to Patch Day, Mods Update X64 DLC packs, Patch Day 3 DLC RPF X64 models, CD images. Patch day 3 NG RPF. And down here it'll have more pair models. 
And that's how you'll be able to edit like the family members. So like if I go right here. You see it got my Crips in here. So Forum, Davis. And that's something totally different, gang. So with this, installing the Crips, this is going to be, let me go to my downloads. Oh, can't get let y'all in here. So the families, Crips, and Boilers Bloods. Now, you might want to make sure that you use this mod first, gang, because it is an OIV file. I probably should have put that in the beginning of the video, but if you watch the whole video, you'll know. So you probably want to install this first because it's an OIV file. If you know about OIV files, all you're doing is this. Dragging it over here. As soon as you drag it, it'll open up. Install. You want to make sure you always install it to your mods folder. And you just confirm the installation. I'm not going to do that because I got all mine set how I want them set. So we're going to cancel that. But that's easy. But make sure you do that one first before... You do the Englewood Family Gangsta Bloods mod. Because then you'll have to go back and do all that over again. Now it'll be easier because you know the locations now. And you don't renamed all your files. But it'll still be kind of a, a headache. Pain in the ass. Alright so now that we're done with that. I want to go to our last download. Families to Hoovers. If we go down here. You got your content mods. And you see it even tells you in this mod where you putting stuff at. So update. See what I'm saying? So you gonna have MP patches where one of your files goes. And that's where the Carson Avenue families is too, gang, if you didn't know. But like I said, when you install that Crips and Bloods mod, it'll do that automatically for you. So you don't have to worry about this but with this. Go to update x64 dlc packs you'll see in here you'll see that so fam carson so what you want to do you go to let me see so in this folder you only gonna have the max goon so the max goon would be this one and this will be the Vagos. This will be the Vagos folder. But all you do, you go right here. And if you open this up, you'll see it's the same thing. So let's open this up real fast. It'll basically be the same thing. I don't know why I opened up that one. This is the TXD file. I was trying to open up the, okay, YDD. And see, you'll have everything that I just had on there now. It won't look like I just showed you because you don't have it installed yet. But are you going to do with that? Same as last time, gang. Make sure you go to rename, copy that name. Go to this pack, rename, drag and drop, rename all the files. The same thing, not the YDD part, but this part right here. Don't touch the end file because it'll change. With if you change the three letters at the end, it'll change what kind of file the game recognizes it as. So make sure you change all those files to that. And basically, you just drag and drop, same thing. That's going to be with that one. Now, your other ones, they will be in MP. So, let's go out. Like I said, gang, it's been a while, so forgive me. Let's see. Um... MP patches. But if you watch this to the end, gang, you shouldn't install none of this stuff wrong. I promise you. 
Let's see. Same thing. Really, gang, when you, with these mods, it's all about knowing the name of the, like, the model name, the file name that you want to replace. So this is not where we need to go. I think do we want to go back. Let's go back to DLC packs. Patch day. Is it in patch? No, not patch day eight. Let's go back to three. Was it in patch day three? No, not in patch day three. Okay, so that's perfect. So for this, what we want to do is close all archives again. Go back to our mods folder. Go back to X64V, model, CD, images, component page, GMY. They don't have the rest of the gang members. See, so like these, this is where you would install your other ones at. They all going to be in different places since GTA always updates the game. Like so with that one. This would be, are these the props? No. One second. Okay, so that's the same thing. That's for Sam Carson. Yep, yeah, so same thing with this game. You just basically don't touch O one, one even if you do, it's not going to show up in game because it's only going to show up if you put it in that one folder. But same thing, go right here, rename, copy. Paste it on either Davis Neighborhood Fam, GMY underscore Davis Neighborhood Family, or Form, whichever one you want to change it to. But you can use the 03 spot to change the form. So really just use the Davis Neighborhood. Paste. Make sure you rename all the files for the same one. So if we just did Davis. Make sure you rename all the Davis Neighborhood Family files to that same name of Mexico. For form, you would just take that name, Mex Gang 3, rename, copy. Rename, paste. Make sure you do not forget which one you named which because it will make your life harder. But if you go back and look at this, you'll see that Davis was first. So we did Mexgoon02 first. So rename all of those to Mexgoon02. Rename all the forum files to Mexgoon03. So let's go back to it because I think we got some more files in it. We do. Let's go back to this. What's X64E? Trying to figure that out. Okay, so that will be all our props. Okay. Yeah, but I just showed you guys that. This is where the props would go. Helmets, hats, and you would rename them the same way. So the Davis ones would become Mexgoon02. The form drive ones would become... Max Goon 03 and the Carson ones will become Max Goon 01. And this really gives you, like, this gives you E. It, it's going to give you the whole installation path for that. Just make sure you rename the files to whichever gang you're trying to replace. Now, G. Okay, so G, you don't need to touch G at all unless you want to change. All this is is the graffiti for the gangs. Here, I'll open it up and show you. Yeah, all that does is the G file, X64G, just replaces graffiti. So that will replace the Crypt graffiti, the crip graffiti that I have with the Hoover graffiti. And yeah, once you got all your files installed to replace all the people that you want to replace, and all the stuff that you want to replace, close all archives, exit out, so you close your windows. 
And yeah, once you open the game, gang, everything should be right. If you followed this, if you watched the video to the end and did everything that I told you to do, once you load your game up, you'll see all the game members change to where you wanted them to change at. But yeah, gang, I think we're going to end this video right here. If you like what you've seen today and you want me to keep doing videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out. And yeah, keep checking out all these series I got coming, gang. I got something real special for y'all I've been working on coming soon. But yeah, it's your boy Really Rich Gaming, and I'm out.